So today is sort of like a dual episode. I'm going to show you what to do with that leftover risotto from last week's episode, and I'm going to introduce you to a cast iron Dutch oven skillet recipe. Stay tuned on the Taberzi Test Kitchen. I start by bundling thyme, tarragon, and rosemary with butcher's twine. I let my roast sit at room temperature a little bit and pat it down with a paper towel. I then generously coat it with salt and pepper, all sides, and rub it in good. Place that bad boy in some heated EVOO, and away we go. Browning the roast on all sides locks in some serious flavor. Add your mirquois to the pan, some EVOO, and the spice bundle some salt, some pepper, then cover that baby for a while. Stirring, flipping, and scraping occasionally. When the veggies are soft, remove them from the pan. Saute some garlic and add 3 fourths cup red wine. Scrape up those drippings and reduce by half. Now add the herbs and veggies back, then the roast, and finally some beef broth. We cover it up, set the oven to 350, pan the baby, Mar gets jealous, pan Mar, and then the roast should be done. We will set it aside and tent it with foil. Let's move on to the risotto cakes. So I patted the leftover risotto and set in the fridge a couple hours or overnight. I set up a workstation, cornstarch, eggs, and panko. Panko is basically just a breadcrumb. I simply dredge in the flour, submerge an egg, dredge in the panko. Fry each side till brown. Set those babies aside and back to the au jus. Return the liquid to a boil, add the remaining wine, and let that reduce. Strain the juices and return them to the pot. Meanwhile, back in Roastville, we slice away and add the meat back to the juice. Serve the roast on top of the risotto cake, top with au jus, and there you have it. So when we shot this episode, I used a sirloin roast. I would suggest using a chuck or a rump roast. That way it'll shred better. So if you're like us, you buy the roast on sale, you chop it in half, and then you freeze it. A smaller roast cooks faster, so mind your temperatures. Also remember, your recipe is always attached to the comments below in the YouTube video. So there you have it. I'll see you next week on the Taberzi Test Kitchen.